Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way I've found to take the skins off and the stones out of stone fruit like apricots and plums. It can be a little bit tricky, um, but this is the quickest and easiest way I've found to do it. So if you're preserving your fruit or making jam or you know stewing it, having it for dessert, and you want to get those skins off and the stones out, don't overthink it. Just take your fruit and make an X on the top. So do that with all of your fruit and we're going to stick it into some boiling water for about, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute. Then we're going to take it out, dump it into some iced water and the skins and stones should come out super easy. So I'll just finish making a cross in all of these apricots and then we'll go over to the boiling water and I'll show you what to do. So all we're going to do is pop our apricots into the boiling water for about 30 seconds to a minute doesn't take long and if you've got lots of apricots or fruit just do it in batches and that way it kind of won't all turn to mush so once you can see the skins coming away at the edge of those crosses just take the fruit out and pop it into a bowl of iced water and that's going to help the skins to come away and it's also going to stop the cooking process. So once your fruit has been in the hot water and then into the cold water, just let them sit for a moment so you don't burn your hands. The skins should peel away really, really easily. And the stone will come out like that. And there you have it. It's really, really easy. So you can cook with the fruit, you can preserve it or freeze it. I'm actually gonna make jam with this lot, but it's up to you. It's just a little trick that I found that works pretty much every time. So go and enjoy the summer guys. So with the fruit, you can preserve it, you can freeze it or cook with it. I'm going to make jam with this batch, if I can get this lid off. Oh my god. It's not usually that hard. Here we go. Oh not? Oh my god. What's going on here? 